Fish and Tales TV. Um, over the summer we did a lot of bass fishing, didn't get much of it on video. But I'm going to show you what we use this summer for bass fishing, like our worms, spinner baits, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go through my bag, show you all what I use and what I've caught most of my bass on. We were fishing in the pond, just going from pond to pond, over in Meadow Oaks. We went fishing there. Um, we went fishing in a lot of places, but uh, to start off, here's a Strike King spinner bait. It's got the two blades with like a, a lime green and a yellow skirt. This one we trolled with and caught some bass, not too many. Um, uh, we used a 3 aught laser sharp hook for hooking our worms. Uh, quarter ounce, half ounce bullet weight for getting the worm out there a long ways across the ponds. These are good. They let the worm, they give it some good action. Uh, here are some Strike King Seikos, red and black color. We'd wacky rig them. Caught quite a few bass over on one lake. That's the only color they're really biting on. And then we have the Super Salt Plus finesse worms in the pumpkin color. Uh, these are the uh, They look like five or six inches, I'm not too sure. But these work good for the smaller bass. They have they have a real soft body and they look real. Uh, here is a bag of mixed stuff. I just had a bunch of old stuff and I threw it in a bag. It's, they're not really power bait. But there's some craws in there, some curly tail worms. And stuff like that. We use the cross, hook them in jigs. And then here is uh, the most of my bass. Out of all the bass I've caught on, more than half have been caught on this worm here. It's a zoom trick worm pumpkin. They're uh, really long and they just feel so real. They got that real look to them with the black flake in it. And they got the tail, and that just gives it great action. That's all for today for the bass fishing stuff. I'm trying to get together a video of my saltwater fishing tackle. I'll have that up here pretty soon. 